Take 59. In the big Buddha house. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, oh yeah, today we're going to talk about the BMW 1200 GSA standard bike and the lowered one. This is the standard one, this is the lowered one and I think you can see a bit of a difference. So what is the difference Mark? Looking at the colour of your shirt... One covers me nipples, the other one doesn't. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but they are, for all intent and purposes, the same bike aren't they? Exactly the same bike, all they've done is they've, I think they've lowered the suspension on the, the shorter one if you want for yeah. people who aren't as tall. Nothing else is different about it as far as I can see and I haven't ridden it, you have, so um, I don't really think uh, there's much of a problem with it. However, I do believe they're selling quite well because these bikes when they're um, up on their up on you know their suspension are quite tall they're very tall actually and this make this shorter version makes a big difference to a lot of people uh, the difference between this lowered version and Mark's standard version while mine's being looked at for a recall um, is that they've they've changed the height of the bikes obviously so that people that are slightly shorter can put their feet down it is a heavy bike but I've had the fortune to ride this one from like five miles on the clock so it is a brand spanking new bike it's got about 25 miles on there now and to be honest i was a bit skeptical as to what it would be like i thought this is just going to be exactly the same as that standard bike there isn't going to be any difference but there are a few subtle differences and i found that when i was riding it i was really impressed with the seating position is exactly the same i'm not going to lie it's exactly the same exactly the same um, expectations from the bike but slightly different riding experience that I found which I was, I was quite impressed with. I find that on the standard version, my version, that the steering on the front is really quite light and it's slow manoeuvring. I find that quite an issue sometimes when you're looking around sometimes you wonder a little bit. Now I don't know whether that's because it's brand new, the tyres are still sticky, they still have bobbles on them, or whether it is in fact the fact that the bike is lower and the centre of gravity is lower and, and closer to the ground, but it felt almost like the kind of RT steering where there's a bit of heaviness and you're kind of not fighting against it but there's a bit of resistance there, and I found that I was a lot straighter and easier to um, manoeuvre the bike at slow speed. Now I did notice that um, as you're riding, the, the experience of tipping the bike and counter steering is exactly the same as that bike. But tiny little things, so taking off the side stand, centre stand. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so taking it off the centre stand, as you can now see, I can get both feet flat on the floor. Now I've never been worried about getting both feet flat on the floor purely because you know you don't really need both feet flat on the floor but when you come up to junctions that are on angles like that you really need to plan which feet which foot you're going to put down and you've not really got the um, luxury of putting the other foot down if you're on a slope like that because you're not going to be able to get it down because the bike's so high but I did notice that where I would normally be going to put my foot down on the right hand side down onto the floor because it was lower the angle of my leg is more acute so rather than just putting it down on the normal bike and feeling for the ground I was kind of knocking into the pots and then finding the ground and that might just be just getting used to it I, I also found that the seating position or the seat felt a bit more comfortable and I've only done 20 miles on the bike but I'm wondering on the standard size bike where your thighs come off the seat I'm wondering that even on the low position that I've got my seat that they they hug the seat too much and on my inner thigh after quite a few miles it becomes quite a bit painful I don't know whether it's just me but on this one because my legs are higher well, you got up, fat thighs yeah I've got fat thighs but because my legs are higher up it kind of takes that pressure from there off the seat 
and I couldn't help thinking as well, I was riding this up to um, our current location, thinking, did I make the right decision getting a standard bike and should I try a lowered one next time? And that might be the case. It's really smooth, it's a, a joy to ride as, as even the standard bike is, but they were the only things that I kind of thought, no, oh, I don't know, the slight differences as well as the screen and I've, it's left me thinking when I get on my own bike shall I put the standard screen back on because I had no buffeting on this at all I can't even remember having lots of air in my face and I, I had my visor open as I ride with most of the time so I'm wondering whether my my quest to have clean air from big screens and many other people's quest to find that clean air is kind of a bit of a a bit of a waste of time I think perhaps having a smaller screen might actually give cleaner air and not have so much air in your face I'm not sure so I'll have to try it out and let you know how I got on but really enjoyed riding the lowered version it's just as controllable but I felt that with having that weight lower down really helped the stability of the bike and my riding ability and it just felt like I got on another bike and it was a bit lower but with those just those couple of things that were I can't go round any further. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go round any further. I just wanted to show you the dis the the difference. Well, mine's on the centre stand and yours is now on the on its wheels. But yeah. um, if we could just pull it back up. So there's an indication of how, of how different they are. Yeah, so, you know, with both the wheels on, on the floor, is that wheel on the floor? Yeah, it is. It is. There's quite a difference there. You're talking, what, 10, 15 mil? No, more than that, probably. Look at it now. About that much, about, 40, about a finger. About a Lidsworth. Lidsworth yeah. on a, a, on a panel. Of so mil. there isn't much, but for the people that are really concerned about why don't BMW and other manufacturers make bikes that they can touch the floor on, that they're all so high, I've been quite impressed by the fact that even I can ride it, and I'm used to riding one of those, and I thought I'd be really crunched up. It feels very much like the RT height, very much the same as the RT's height of riding. And it's quite nice, it puts all of that weight lower down, easier to control, or as easy to control. Really great bike. Right, here at R Rider Cam TV, we're just really fortunate to have props like these. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so, when we were talking about an RT, and the lowered version being on par with the RT, we've had a look, and the RT seat on lower is quite a lot lower than here, but on the hired seat, it's kind of on par with the height of this lovely lowered version, as you can see here. So hopefully Mark, with his filming, can see that's slightly lower, a little bit higher, and this is the daddy being on here with his horrible looking seat cover on there, but hey, we won't go into that, will we, Mark? <laughs> but I've, I think that having this bike with all of the gadgets and gizmos and all the engine and stuff lower down for those people who think well you know lowered version you haven't got the, the ground clearance you have on the taller bike but you've kind of got a mix between the rideability of the standard bike and the rideability of the RT with the heavier steering the easier to use it at slow maneuvering it's just kind of morphed into one, isn't it? And this is this is the natural middle point of the bike. Lovely, lovely little bike. If you are thinking about an adventure, which Mark and I would be advocates of, you must go out and buy one because they are absolutely amazing bikes. And we're very biased. <laughs> but if you can't quite stomach, or you can't quite um, reach the floor and you're uncomfortable on one of the standard ones, have a look at one of these or have a look at an RT because I think that they ride much the same. Different sort of styles of bikes, different different um, uses for the bikes, but this seems an amalgamation of both of those bikes put into one. I really enjoyed riding this one. Yeah. So if you've liked this video, give it a massive thumbs up. 
Um, subscribe and put some comments down the bottom. How do you find the lowered version? Is it better or is it worse? Does it ride better? Does it ride worse? Let us know. Hit the bell when you subscribe and then you'll see our new videos. And a massive shout out as once, uh, as again, to Ocean BMW, Greg and his team for allowing us to take out the bike um, to show you a bit of a comparison. And we'll see you in the next video.